This is Rachel Plain with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm here at the studio at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and we're live streaming our um, moderate flow class. This is an intermediate level flow class that we typically teach at the studio every Friday at 9. So I'm here live streaming for you this morning, a couple minutes after 9, um, but just getting going here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Good to see you guys popping up here. Uh, can you hear me okay? I'm using my mic and it sounded better, I think, last uh, video I, that I used it on Wednesday morning. So hopefully you can hear a little bit better when I'm on my mat um, and my head's turned away from the camera. So we'll uh, go like this as long as you can hear and see. If there's any problem with hearing or seeing, just let me know and I'll try to make an adjustment right now. Um, great, Chelsea's here. Hi, Chelsea, Thanks. thank you so much. You guys are my um, sound crew. Good morning, Amy, that's so great. Um, your technical support from afar. So this is just such a wild thing. I'm used to teaching yoga in person in the studio and never thought that I would be doing this live and virtually, but um, in a strange way, it's been, been a good adventure and kind of fun to learn along with you guys and be able to still connect with you and figure out ways to offer content and classes, even though we're not in the studio. Good morning, Thomas. Great, thanks, Roberta. Melissa's here. This is awesome. Happy Friday, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, so we'll get started today. Again, this is Rachel Plain with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm here live streaming our moderate flow yoga class that's typically taught in the studio at nine. Um, it's gonna be an hour long class, so we'll go from nine to 10. We'll start with a seated warm up, some breath work, some centering, some stretching. We'll do a nice standing flow and end in relaxation at the end. So it is a moderate paced class, so more of a kind of an intermediate style, um, but you're welcome to take it at your own pace. We always start with a nice gentle warm up, and you can take any uh, modifications or variations that you want, and I'll be offering those to you as we flow along together. So um, we'll get started. You don't need anything special. If you do have yoga blocks and you'd like to use those, you're welcome to use those or anything else that you could use like blocks, um, couch pillows or cushions or anything you have nearby to raise the ground up if you want it. Um, great. Cool. All right. So we'll get started. Um, thanks so much again for all your support. I'm really grateful for you guys following along. It's been a learning experience from the beginning and we're kind of getting into the swing of things now and just really glad that you've been watching and I'm thankful and grateful for all your kind comments and shares and likes and support and contributions and donations that you've been making. It's really helping us sustain through this closure so we can open back up hopefully sooner than later um, and continue to bring you great online content. So thank you to everybody who's donated or um, made a contribution to the studio over the past few weeks. We really, really appreciate it. Um, we're looking into ways to improve our audio and our visual, and with your support, we'll be able to do that and uh, make some investments in improving our videos and online content. So thanks again for all your support. If you're interested in making a, do a donation or contribution, you can visit supportbydf.com, and you can make a donation there to the studio or to the individual instructors that are offering you these classes. So. We'll get right to it. Good morning, Melissa, Audrey, everybody that's tuning in. Helen, so good to see you. So let's get started. My name's Rachel Plain. I'm with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. We're here for our moderate flow yoga class, Friday morning at nine. We'll start seated today. Thanks so much, enjoy. Okay, so coming into a comfortable seat, you can bring your hands down on your lap. And we'll start our centering seated this morning like we have been. So you can have your hands down and just take a moment to drop in. So take a moment to just close the eyes and have the hands on the knees and start to rock forward and back. So nice and easy. Start to just feel the weight of your body sinking down into the earth, into the mat, into whatever you're sitting on this morning. So there's just this nice, easy rock forward and back. 
almost like you're rocking yourself to sleep or to this peaceful place, just like you would for a small child. Just a nice, gentle rock, forward and back, just easing your body, easing your mind, easing your heart, sending the message to yourself that you're okay. In this moment, right here, right now, everything is okay. You're safe. You're protected. You're able to take the next hour to find peace and presence and joy amidst the chaos that may be happening outside of this moment right now. So start to let that rock bring you into a still place, kind of rock up a little bit taller. It's just a little rock. You just start to grow really long and tall from the base of your tailbone to the top of your head. Take a deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Give it again a deep breath in. Let go. And one more time. Big breath in. And let go. Good. Breathe in through your nose. Through your nose, exhale, round your back, tuck your tail, scoop your belly, draw the navel in, bring the chin to your chest. And then rock forward. So we're just taking a nice, easy, seated cat and cow. Lift the belly, the chest, the throat, the face. And exhale, roll it back, round your back, tuck the tail, scoop the belly. And then again, inhale, open up. And exhale, release. Bring this right into your shoulders, inhale, lift up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. A couple more times, pick it up. Exhale, release. One more time, big shoulder rub, shrug, shoulder shrug and roll at the same time. And then roll the palms open to the backs of the hands, touch the lap, and exhale to drop your chin. Just bow your head to yourself, to your own heart. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Good. Bring your right ear over to the right shoulder. Open up the left side of your neck. And exhale, drop your chin back to your chest. Come the other way, inhale ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. And then one more time, each side, ear to shoulder. Back through center. And last time, other side. And back through center. Lift your head up and keep your eyes closed. Breathe out where you are. And come into your three-part breath. Breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle part of the ribs, the upper part of the chest. Exhale, release the chest. Release the ribs, release the belly so you're empty at the bottom of the breath. And then fill up again. Breathing into the lowest part of the belly, the middle part of the ribs, the upper part of the chest. Exhale, release the chest, the ribs, the belly. Find yourself empty of breath at the bottom. And then breathe back in when you're ready. So continue that. Continue that deep, steady breath, that three-part Dirga breath, allowing the breath to start to calm your body and your mind, to create space for this brand new day, this brand new morning, this opportunity for us to show up more wholeheartedly, more in union with ourselves, this connection between our body, our mind, our heart, and our spirit. 
to show up with grace and compassion towards ourselves, towards this global situation, towards each other. Setting yourself up for the best day possible. Breathing in vitality, this life force energy. Breathing out any tension, anything you don't need, anything that's not serving you. Continue that, breathing in vitality, life force energy. Filling up. And exhale, just letting go and releasing whatever you don't need. Making space for this brand new day. Good. And then the next time that you breathe in, bring your hands together in front of your heart to a prayer position on Jolly Mudra. Let the palms touch, bow your head. And take a moment to come into intention for your day, for this brand new day, for this brand new morning. How do you want to feel? Maybe that would be a good intention today. How do you want to feel in your practice? How do you want to feel when you're done with your practice, when you're moving about your day, interacting with friends or family virtually from far away or family in your home? Good. How do you want to show up for yourself? And then the next time that you breathe in, slide your hands to the ceiling, lengthen your arms. You can look up. And exhale, open your arms. Bring your chin to your chest, bring your fingers down to the ground, and then do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms high and wide, all the way above the head. Exhale, open the arms wide, chin to chest, fingers find the ground. One more time, deep breath in, fill up, lift up, look up. And exhale, release. Let's take a couple easy side stretches. Inhale, the right arm out to the side. Exhale, up and over to the left. You can look up. Inhale, up through center, and exhale the other way. So just starting to move right away. Do that again, inhale up, exhale, switch. Inhale up, and exhale, switch. Good, inhale up, bring both the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, press the fists down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open the chest, the throat, the face, look up. And exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, roll the shoulders up, back and down, press into the fingertips, lift the heart, lift the hips if you want, and exhale, back down. Good. Let's come on to all fours, so come into tabletop. You can come over your shins, or you can unwind your legs. And I'm just going to come this way. So hands at the top of the mat, a little further forward, couple hip circles. Good. Nice big hip circles, opening up the hips, the back. The shoulders, good. And then move those hip circles the other way. Great job. And then let your hips come all the way back to your heels. Touch your big toes, separate the knees, stretch your arms forward and drop your head. And then take a little rock across the forehead and the hips and massage the forehead in towards the mat, roll the hips left to right, that gentle rock, telling yourself it's okay, you are okay right now. Everything is okay right now in this moment. Good, shift forward to tabletop, all fours, bring the shoulders uh, right above the wrists and move the hands back, knees underneath the hips, couple hip wags left to right. Wrists are right beneath the shoulders. Draw the navel up and in. Drop the tailbone. Drop the head so you come into cat. Inhale. Drop the belly. Lift the tail. Lift the heart. Come to cow. And exhale. Round your back. Draw the navel up and in. Drop the head. Drop the tail. Inhale. Belly drops. Tail lifts. Heart comes forward. Look up. One more time. Exhale to curl. And inhale back through cow. You're going to stay in this cow pose. Lift the tail, lift the heart, lift up. And as you exhale, bend your elbows back and dip the chest. 
And you're gonna push through the cobra. So push the heart through, come onto your belly, unravel your spine, come up on the hands, lift the heart. Exhale, release, press back into child. Bring the hips to your heels, big toes could touch. Good, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, bend the elbows, dip down. Inhale through cobra. Exhale, let's come back to our belly. Inhale, press back to child. And exhale where you are. Good. Inhale, roll through cat. Exhale to cow. Bend the elbows, drop the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to belly. Inhale, all the way back to child. And exhale, pause. Let's do that one more time. So inhale, roll through cat. Exhale to cow, bend the elbows and dip the chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to belly. And inhale back through child. Breathe out where you are. Hold there, deep breath in. And full breath out. Good, inhale back through tabletop, all fours. Curl your toes under, lift the knees, press the hips back, downward dog. Let's pedal out here. So inhale, rise up onto the balls of the feet. And exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm. Good. Inhale, pick it up, lift your heels. And exhale, switch. Drop the left heel, bend the right knee, look underneath the left arm. Inhale, rise. Exhale, both heels drop. Let's step our feet as wide as our mat. And then walk your hands back a couple inches. You have a nice short, wide down dog. From here, we'll take a little twist if it's comfortable. So if you feel like you have your balance, you're going to take your left hand and just thread it through and grab a hold of the opposite ankle or leg. So you're holding the um, right leg with the left hand. Maybe look underneath the right armpit. Take a little peek. Good. Release that hand down. Let's twist the spine the other way. Come to the opposite direction. Grab a hold of the leg. Twist. Good. Release back. Let's walk our hands all the way back towards our feet and then give our heads a shake yes. And give your head a shake no. And then bend the knees and hold opposite elbow and just take a little sway. So one knee bends, your body goes that way, other leg straightens. That other knee bends, body goes that way, other leg straightens. And then keep going. Sway back and forth, left to right. One knee bends, the other knee bends. Just swaying, almost in this figure eight pattern of the body. Good, keep going. And then from that sway of bending knees and rocking the body, Start to come to stillness. Good. Straight legs or bent knees. Release the elbows. Bend the knees generously. And slowly, slowly roll up. Let the arms hang off of the shoulders. And at the top, take a big sun breath. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. You're going to pause there. Good. Keep the feet as wide as your mat. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the arms. Good. From here, bend the knees, bend the hips. Sit into a chair pose, but the feet are wide. So their body's wide as your mat. You're going to hold. Bring your hands together. Bring your forearms together. And then bring your elbows to touch and place your thumb right between your eyebrows. So you're in this elephant pose, kind of near the back of the mat. Hips are low. Knees are bent. Thumb to third eye. Good. Hold. Breathe. Low squat. Inhale, straighten legs, straighten arms. You can look up at hand. And exhale, swan dive right over those legs. Inhale, lengthen, bringing your hands up to your shins, long, flat back. Ardha Uttanasana with those wider legs. And exhale, deep fold. Pedal your hands out towards the top of the mat. So now you're in this wide leg plank here. If you need to drop your knees, do that right away. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Good. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, place your knees down. Bring your big toes to touch. Rock back to a wide knee, child. 
and then slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your hands, roll up or lengthen up to sit on your heels, bring the knees hip width, and come to stand on your shins. And now fly up. And exhale, open the arms, touch your low back, fingers down, elbows back, lift the chest up, open up the heart. And exhale, release the tabletop, all four. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, press back, down dog. Inhale, rise on the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm again. Good, inhale, lift up. And exhale, switch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, both heels drop. So you have a choice here. You could take little steps forward to the top of the mat. Or let's float our right leg up, three-legged dog. Actually, let's all do that. Bring your right leg up, three-legged dog. We'll start here. So right leg up, three-legged dog. Roll your right ankle. Roll your right ankle the other way. Keep your legs straight, point your toe, lift that leg skyward. So you're in three-legged dog, right leg's up in the air. Maybe bend the top knee, let the toe fall back to your hip. And then stretch it high to the sky. Let's warm up our core. Bring the knee into the belly, bring the shoulders right above the wrist and see if you can hover. Take that three-legged dog, flex through your foot. And then take that knee to the opposite elbow, shift forward. Point your toe, knee to elbow. Kick back, three-legged dog, flex your foot. Take it to your outside elbow, shift forward. And kick back, flex your foot. Now let's step or help that right leg through. So if that right leg gets stuck, just kind of give it a little scooch forward with the hand. Come up onto the fingertips, hold here. From here, open the arms like wings and pause. From here, frame the head with the hands, the long diagonal line from back heel to head to fingertips. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, release your hands to the ground and step your back leg up to meet your front leg, hip width. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, come to fingertips or hands to shins. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse one dive, all the way on the mat. And exhale, hands to prayer. Now close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, release your hands. Let's do the whole thing on the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Flat back. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold. Left leg steps back to low lunge. Right leg meets it in plank. You're going to hold your plank. Press out to your head. Press out to your heels. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, either drop your knees to modify or keep them lifted. Lower through chaturanga. Modified chaturanga or knees, chest, chin like we did in our warm-up. Inhale, cobra or up dog. You can come on the tops of the feet here. Straighten the legs, lift the arm. Exhale, downward dog. Continuing to flow. <clears throat> come on the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop the left heel, bend the right knee, look underneath the left arm. Inhale, rise. Exhale, switch. Good. Inhale, rise. Exhale, both heels drop on your next in-breath. Float the left leg up to three-legged dog. Just like we did on the other side. Flex your foot, roll your ankle. Good. And roll your ankle the other way. And keep your legs straight, point your toe, lift it skyward, open up. Bend the top knee, toe back towards hip. Lift the leg high to the sky. Bring the knee into belly, flying plane cover. Kick back, three-legged dog. Take the knee across the body, point your toe, knee to elbow, opposite elbow. Kick back, three-legged dog. Take the knee to outside elbow, shift forward. Kick back, three-legged dog. Step or help that leg through to the top of the mat and hold. Come on the tips of your fingers, lengthen your spine. Long line from the back heel all the way up to the top of the head. Bring the arms out like wings and hover. 
Stay here or bring the arms to frame the head. It's a diagonal line. So you're keeping that long line from your back heel all the way up to the head, all the way up to the fingers. Breathing strong core, strong legs, strong arms. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release hands to ground. Step the back foot up to meet the front foot. Inhale, lengthen flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to shins or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, come out and up. And exhale, bring hands to prayer, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release your arms. Inhale, sun breath, catch the right wrist with the left thumb and fingers. Stretch up and over towards the left, bumping the hip away, looking up. Inhale through center. Catch the other wrist, stretch it up and over. Good, inhale through center. Exhale, swan dive all the way down so we're continuing to flow one breath per movement inhale lengthen flat back exhale deep fold again right leg steps back left leg meets at plank or modify by dropping your knees deep breath in exhale lower chaturanga modify by dropping your knees or knees chest and chin inhale cobra or up dog exhale down dog inhale right leg floats up three-legged dog Exhale, step or help it through to the top of the mat. You might want to take a hold of your blocks underneath the hands right now, or not. Bend the back knee, lift the heart, look up. Lift the hips, straighten the legs, head to shin. And then keep doing that, bend the knees, inhale, lift up, look up. And exhale, lift the hips. Head to shin. You're going to do that one more time. Keep going. Bend the knees. I'm just going to switch to this side so you can see better. And then pick up the hips. Head to shin. And then start to bend the front knee. Keep the back leg straight using the ground or the blocks. Fingertips to the ground or the blocks. From here, we're going to come up to warrior one, a traditional warrior one. So spin the back heel down just enough so you can anchor your back foot. You might have to scooch it in a teeny tiny bit. And then inhale, arms out and up to frame your head. So you're in a traditional warrior one, back heels spun down, different than our high lunge. Take a deep breath in, and full breath out. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, open up to warrior two. There's a little shift of your feet, so you can get that front heel lined up with the arch of the back foot, front knees bent, back legs straight. Inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten your legs, stance back. Exhale, release warrior two, bend the front knee, look over the front fingers. Twice more, inhale up. And exhale, release. Last time, inhale up. And exhale, release. You're gonna hold here. Hold your warrior two. From your warrior two, slide the upper body forward. Come into side angle from here. Bend the front elbow, either forearm to thigh and top arm frames your head, or if there's room, take that bottom arm and bring it right to the ground outside your foot. So you could use your block here if you wanted to. And if you can, you're going to look up. Long line from outer edge of foot all the way up, long side body to top. And you're breathing. From side angle, straighten the legs. Reverse triangle, straight legs to back. And exhale, open arms, shoulder height. Turn the toes forward, the heels back. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, dive forward. Now, just like we did on Wednesday, if you were with me, we're going to lengthen our spine, flat back, and then turn the left toes out, bend the left knee, turn the right toes out, come on your heel if you can, and then if you, got, if you have the flexibility, you're going to sink all the way down and bring the hands to prayer. If not, you're in more of like a half squat here, so your choice. If you can free up the hands and bring them to prayer, go for it. Breathe, smile. Good, release the hands, pick it up through center, you're gonna go all the way the other way. So bend the other knee, flex the foot, either be on the edge of your heel or sink the hips all the way down and bring your hands to prayer. Good, release the hands one more time, come through center. Turn the toes forward, the heels back. Take a nice deep fold and then maybe stretch the arms forward like dog or any other variation that you prefer. Couple breaths. Good job. From here, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, bend the knees, 
Bring hands to thighs, press off the thighs to lengthen your spine. Come to a sun breath, inhale. Exhale, open arm, shoulder height. Turn the front foot to the front. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down, front arm, back arm. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. You're either touching the ground or not. From here, we're gonna take our back foot and scooch it in a little bit. So slide that back leg forward so you can straighten your legs. Again, touch the ground or the blocks. Legs are straight. You're in pyramid pose. Toes are forward, heels are back. Back foot's um, turned out slightly. So it's almost like your front heel is in line with the um, back heel. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, deepen your fold over your front leg. If there's room, walk the hands forward. So you have a diagonal line from your hips to your fingertips. Take that front thigh, your right thigh, pull it up and back into your hip socket and drop the left hip down so the hips are square and breathe. Head toward chin or knee or wherever it is, couple breaths. <sighs> Good, from here, walk the hands back, lengthen your spine. We're gonna take one more pose Coming into revolved triangle. So this is a good place where if you had a block or a book or something, you might want to use it underneath your left hand. But if not, don't worry, be on your fingertips. Lengthen your spine. Bring your right hand to your hip. And then start to rotate your upper body towards that front leg and lift the right shoulder. And if there's room, you're going to lift the right arm and look up. Touching the ground or a block. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release that hand towards the ground or the block. Let's bend the front knee again. And we're gonna step the back leg up to meet the front leg. Inhale, flat back, stretch it out. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive out and up. Exhale, hands to prayer, close your eyes. Come back to your three-part breath. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Whole thing from the top. You start with a sun breath. Catch your left wrist with your right hand. Stretch it up and over. So you're making like a little bracelet around your wrist. Inhale through center. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Come to shins or fingertips. Long spine. Exhale, deep fold from the top of the mat. Step the left leg back to lunge. Step the right leg back to meet it in plank. And you're gonna lower either chaturanga, modified chaturanga, or knees, chest, and chin like our warm up. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg floats up, three legged dog. Exhale, step or help it through to the top of the mat. Here's where you could have your blocks underneath your hands. Bend the back knee, lift the arm. And exhale, lift the head straight in the front leg, head to shin. Good, do that again. Bend the front knee, bend the back knee, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the head straight in the leg, head to shin. Do that one more time, bend the knees. And lift the hips. Good. Then just the front knee, keep the back leg straight. We're going to set up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. So that back heel is going to spin down. So I just scooch my foot forward a teeny tiny bit so I can get my back heel down. And um, the toes slightly turned out in the back, so on the sole of the back foot. Inhale, arms out and up. You're going to bring your shoulders right above your hips. Arms frame the head, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, open up to warrior two. So there's some rotation in the hips. You wiggle that back foot back and bring your um, front heel right in line with the arch of the back foot. Bend the front knee, look out over your front fingers. Stretching the hips, building strength in the leg. Inhale, reverse triangle, trikonasana, back hand to back leg, top arm lifts, big stretch for the side body. And exhale, warrior two. Here, Badrasana two. Inhale, straighten up. And exhale, release. Last time, pick it up. And exhale, release. Now you hold. Take a deep inhale. 
As you exhale, slide the arms forward, almost like you would in triangle or trikonasana, and come to side angle. So either bend the elbow, forearm to thigh, or reach that left arm right to the outer edge of the front leg. Look up. Breathe. Soften your face. Relax your jaw and forehead. Slight smile. Good. Top arm's going to pick us up. Straighten your legs for a little break. Come up and over the back leg. Look up. And exhale, open arm, shoulder height. Toes forward, heels back. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, dive forward. And then like we did before, lengthen out. Bring the head in line with the uh, hips. Turn the right foot out. Walk the hands to the right. Turn the left foot out and come on your left heel. So that's option one. You're kind of hovering here. Option two, you go deeper. You drop the hips all the way down like a half squat and then bring the hands to prayer. And the left leg is long and the foot is flat. And the heart is open and you're breathing. Good. Release the hands down, pick it up through center. Walk the hands over, bend the left knee. Keep the um, right leg straight, come on your heel if you can flex your foot. Arms are forward for counterbalance or hands to prayer in front of the heart. And breathing. Good. Release your hands down. Lengthen up through the legs, turn the toes forward, the heels back, long, flat back, and exhale, deep fold. Maybe stretch the arms out like a downward dog, purple breath. You're doing awesome. Very good. Slide hands underneath shoulders, bend your knees. Bring your hands to your thighs, press off your thighs, lengthen your spine. Come all the way up, inhale. Exhale, open arm, shoulder height. Good, turn the front foot to the front. Bend the front knee, warrior two, your Padrasana two. Deep inhale. Exhale, cartwheel, one arm, the other arm, pivot on the ball of the back foot. So a little different, you're gonna scooch that back leg forward like we did on the other side, and come on the sole of your foot. Lengthen your spine from the tips of the fingers. Back foot slightly turned out, but hips are square. Maybe the front heel is lined up with the back heel. Take a deep breath. And exhale, deep fold. If you can, in their space, walk the hands forward. So you get a diagonal line from your hips to your fingertips. So the arms and the upper body are mimicking the shape of the front leg. You're doing great. In my mind, I can see you all and you're practicing beautifully. You're so strong, so graceful, so flexible, so confident. Good. And then walk your hands back, lengthen your spine. We're going to come into that um, revolved triangle. So our legs are straight. If you have any props, you could put them underneath the hands to get a little height. You're going to press into the right hand fingertip block or prop. Bring the left hand to your left hip. And now we're about to revolve. And this does take a bit of flexibility. So try to be gentle with yourself wherever you're at with this pose today. Roll the left shoulder open, the chest open. And then maybe lift the left arm and maybe look up to your top hand. Try to pull the head away from the tailbone. So there's a long line from your head to your tail and a long line from your bottom hand to your top hand. And legs are long and straight. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release that front hand or top hand. Bend the front knee and step the back foot up to meet the front foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Come on the fingertips or bring hands to shins. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Out and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Close your eyes. Let's just meet here for a moment. Pause. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Good. Take a moment just to feel your body and your breath. Take a moment to breathe in that vitality and life force energy that we're 
creating this aliveness in our body. Good. And as you exhale, taking this opportunity again to release any tension, physical tension, mental, emotional, let it go. Whatever's not serving you, just release it with that out breath. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, release your hands. Take a big sun breath, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive over your legs. Inhale, lengthen last time, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold. We're gonna come to the mat, step the right foot back and land on the right knee. Step the left foot back and land on the left knee. Keep the hips high, walk the hands out to puppy pose. Arms are straight, elbows are lifted, forehead to the ground or chin to the ground, depending on flexibility. Hips are high, couple breaths. Good, let's rock forward and come on to our belly. So just go ahead and wiggle yourself down. Good, hopefully you can still see okay. You're going to stack your palms or your fists, and then let your head drop. And bend the knees, toes up to the ceiling. Let's just roll our ankles a couple times, so loosen up any tension in the ankles. Roll them the other way. Good job. And then let the feet be soft and relaxed. Windshield wiper the legs a couple times, left to right. Good. And then circle the shins a couple times. That's good. And then circle the shins the other way. Very good. Take the legs long. Bring your hands and arms alongside your body with the chin towards the ground. We're going to come up to locust pose to strengthen our back and open our hearts. Inhale, lift the chest. Turn the palms to face each other. Lift the legs so you're hovering on the hip points and the pubic bone. Turn the palms to face each other, legs long. If you want, interlace your fingers and then press the fists back towards the heels. Squeeze the shoulders together so you're in locust pose. Opening the heart, strengthening the back. Breathing, deep inhale. And exhale, release. Turn on to one side of the face. Just pause. Breathe, relax your bottom. Relax the shoulders, relax the chest. Good, we're gonna come up one more time. We're gonna give you another option to come to bow if you want, so chin to chest. Bend the knees. If it's accessible for you today, reach back and take a hold of the feet or the ankles, whatever you can hold on to. If not, legs are straight, we're coming back up to locust. If you've got your feet, we're coming up to bow. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. If you're in bow, press the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet, lift the heart up, and breathe. Locust, just like we did before, long legs. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, release. Come on to the other side of the face, release the legs, let them come long. Take a couple breaths. Job. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Press into the hands, take it all the way back to child's pose. Like a big toes touch, widen the knees, stretch back once more, just like we did in the beginning. Couple breaths. Arms could stay long or palms could press to prayer. You could bend the elbows and fold the forearms back to your head. Extend the arms. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Press into the hands. Lengthen the spine or roll up to sit on your heels. Inhale, high kneel, just like we did in the beginning of class. Lift up, lift up. 
And exhale, hands to low back, just like we did in the beginning of class. Hold the low back, fingers down, elbows back, and lift the chest up. Exhale, release the gaze. Good, release the hips. We're going to come into camel again like we did on Wednesday. So curl the toes under, lift the arms up. So if you're with me Wednesday, same thing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge back, warm up the thighs, open the arms, warm up the core. And then inhale, back up onto the knees. Hold. Exhale, hinge back, warming up the thighs, the core. Inhale, back up. And one more time. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, back up. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, reach the right arm back. Hinge straight back. If you can touch the heel, you're going to touch the heel. Other hand comes back, touch the heel. If you can, you're going to puff the chest forward and squeeze the shoulders back. Other option is hands to low back in a modified camel like we did in our warm up. Drop the head back. Breathe. Take a deep breath. And exhale, release chin to chest. One hand to low back, other hand to low back. Press it up. Exhale, uncurl your toes. Sit back on your heels and just pause for a moment. If sitting on your heels is not comfortable, come to cross legs. Turn the palms open and close your eyes. <sighs> just take a moment to breathe. And notice how you feel. Good. Now let's hand, lie down. The hands come off the lap. You can drop the chin to the chest if you want. Just bring the hips off to the side. Swing the legs around. Let's do just a little bit more seated here before we come on to our um, mats. So bend the um, left knee and bring the sole of your left foot to your inner thigh. Bring the right foot right in line with the hip. I'm going to come into head to knee pose or Janu Shirshasana. Inhale, lift the arms up like Tadasana, mountain pose. Bring the head, deep breath. Exhale, up and over the front leg. So choices, you could bring the hands to the ground, keep a long flat back around the spine. You could hold the leg, you could hold the ankle, you could hold the foot. Bring the head towards the knee or the shin. If you're super flexible in this pose and you wanted to, you could take that right arm, place the hand right down onto the ground and take the left hand and grab a hold of the wrist. Pause. Breathe. Good, lengthen your spine. On up. Take a hold of your um, left knee with your left hand. Bring the sole of your foot to the mat. Bring the long leg in line with the belly button. Cross the mat leg on top. Either keep the um, bottom leg long or tip onto that hip and tuck it underneath and then place your hip back down. Hold the shin, sit up tall. We're just going to take a twist here. Lift the left arm up. Same arm as bent leg. Twist towards the front bent leg. That hand comes to the ground. Hug the knee into the elbow or cross the elbow right over the knee. Palm like a high five, look to the side or look over the back shoulder. Breathing. Good. And then unwind the body. Bring the hand to that shin, let's just unwind the leg. Um, unwind the other leg out from underneath, and then we'll switch sides. So lengthen your left leg, bring the right knee out to the side, sole of right foot to inner thigh, lift the arms up like Tadasana, mountain pose, stretch up and over that long leg, hands to the ground, the ankle, the foot, or take the um, left arm, same arm as leg, and reach right around for the wrist of the other arm, bring the head to the shin. Long, flat back, or rounded spine, keep breathing. Good, come on up. Hands come to that bent knee, bring it up towards the ceiling. Take the long leg right in line with midline of your body, in line with the belly button, cross the bent leg on top. Either keep the bottom leg straight and flex your foot or tuck it underneath, but make sure you're on both sitting bones. Hands to shin, sit up top. Lift the same arm as bent leg. Good, twist towards your bent leg and bring that top arm down to the ground as you hug the right knee into the elbow crease or hook the elbow over the lap, 
and then look to the side or look over the back shoulder. Good. You're doing awesome. You showed up today, Friday morning. You took this hour to yourself to do something good for yourself, to breathe, to move your body, to set up for this brand new day. You're off to a good start. Take another deep in out. And exhale, release. Let's just unwind our legs, so kind of tip back, unravel your legs, feet as wide as the mat. A couple windshield wipers just to loosen that up before we come on to our mat for final relaxation. Good. And then bring your knees up through center, wiggle the feet hip wet. We're gonna scooch up towards the top of the mat. If you want anything for Shavasana, any um, props, extra layers, blankets, have those nearby. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower, tuck the tail. Scoop the belly, come on down. And then when you get down, take a big, big stretch. Lengthen the legs, lengthen the arms, stretch out the belly. Big stretch. You did it. Now we can relax. Bring the knees into the belly, hold the knees or the shins or wrap the arms around the legs and take a rock. Job. Bring the hands to the knees, circle the knees around, and circle the knees the other way. So you're really infusing your body with some loving kindness right now. Just taking this gentle rock, massaging the back, sending gratitude to this magnificent body that you have, taking good care of yourself. And then knees into belly, place the feet onto the ground. We're gonna come right into relaxation. So maybe press into the feet for a moment and just lift the hips a tiny bit, tuck the tail and drop the hips back down. So you get a little bit of space in the low back and then relax. You have a neutral pelvis, just a natural curve in the low back. Send one leg long, send the other leg long. Let the hands fall away from the body. You're in Shavasana. If there are any closing postures, or movements or stretches that your body is craving, by all means, do that now. Take as much time as you need. Also taking any micro movements or adjustments in the body so you can get more space here, more room, feel more comfortable. If there's any discomfort in your low back when you're lying flat on the ground, you could take your yoga blocks right underneath your knees. You could take pillows or a little blanket underneath the knees or upper thighs to just create a little bend in the legs and let the legs drape over those props. Otherwise, you don't need anything. The legs are straight. They're as long as they can be towards the front of the mat, slightly greater than hip width distance. Feet splaying open to the sides. Arms alongside the body, little bit of space between the body and the arms about 45 degrees, palms open, backs of hands touching the ground, eyes closed, body relaxed, let your breath soften, let your mind settle, Allow your whole body to surrender and let go. Soften your face. Relax your forehead and jaw and eyes. Let your body just melt into the mat, into the earth, surrendering and letting go. Take a couple breaths in stillness and silence. Just letting yourself take in whatever you need from today. Welcome.
extend as long as you'd like in Shavasana, depending on how your time is right now today. When you are ready to come out and there's no hurry, you'll just start to bring your awareness back. Begin to let your breath deepen. Start to notice your body. Notice that you have a body. Notice the shape of your body, the placement of your body, what's touching the ground or the space around you. Tuning into the outer edges, maybe bringing movement in to fingers or toes. Moving or not moving in any way you'd like as you wake back up. Take your time and slowly come on to either side when you're ready, if you're ready. Come into fetal pose. You can just bring the knees into the belly and the arms into the chest. And just rest. Closed eyes. And then use your top hand to press the ground away and come all the way up to sit. Good. You could have your eyes closed or a soft gaze if that's comfortable. Let the backs of the hands touch the knees or lap. We'll just be here for a moment together to integrate and to land. So palms open, long spine from bottom of tail to top of head. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. The next time that you breathe in, bring your hands to prayer position, Anjali Mudra, palm stretch. And exhale, bow your head to your heart. Let your eyes close. Honor your intention. Anything that you set up for today, how you want to feel today, how you want to show up today for yourself, for others. What you want to invite into your day. What you want to create. We'll end together on the sound of OM, the sound of community, starting with a letting go breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sigh. Again, deep breath in. Ah. As your head bows back to yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank you for following along on this virtual journey. Great. It's so good to see you guys. Um, again, my name is Rachel Klein. I'm with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. We just finished up our moderate flow class today. So be well and keep taking good care of yourselves and others, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. I'll be back tonight for a gentle class, a candlelight class at 5.30. And for more information on our classes, you can visit BerkshireYogaDanceFitness.com or check out the events on our Facebook page to see where you can find myself and our other teachers that are um, streaming these classes for you. So thanks. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Ellen. So good to see you guys. I miss you all very, very much, and I can't wait till we're back together in person. But until then, I'm thinking of you often and holding you in my heart and uh, sending you lots of good energy and positive vibes for health and strength. So I'll see you soon. Take care. If you have any um, questions, feedback, or anything, please share it with me. I'd love to hear from you. I, I love getting the messages from you. So thanks again so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.